I'll talk now this morning with filmmaker and journalist Tamara Lane. Now, Tamara just released a documentary entitled Scratching the Surface. This film provides a first-time look into the controversial world of genetically engineered mosquitoes. Hay fever is something I would never wish on anybody. It's an excruciating thing. The challenges of doing effective mosquito control in this century with the few tools that we have left and to do it in an environmentally responsible way is hard. As a mother, I am all for technology, but I don't want you to experiment with my kids. There's not too much information out there about the test results. It's still a, a very, it seems very new to me. The dengue fever virus now confirmed in Key West. Right now we're closely following um, Oxitec and their plan to release genetically engineered mosquitoes in the Florida Keys. The release area is about a six by six block in what's known as Old Town Key West. I'm not really against genetically modified insects. I feel like my life is being threatened. The question of whether or not we even need these mosquitoes to control diseases such as dengue fever is being completely called into question. It's a solution and it's a better solution than the solutions we have now. What is very upsetting is the way OxyTech has gone about its business. Tamara, thank you so much for joining me this morning. Now, you research topics, you interview people around the globe. So, Tamara, why did you specifically choose this issue in Key West? Well, it was really interesting. I heard a 30-second blurb on NPR uh, about two and a half years ago about a test ground in Key West for genetically engineered mosquitoes. And, of course, I was fascinated. Um, I started doing research, and I came down here to find out what it was all about because, I mean, at the time, no one really knew what genetically engineered mosquitoes were. So I hopped on a plane and I came down and I met with Mosquito Control. And along with meeting with Mosquito Control, Tamara, you also went around to homes and you knocked on people's doors. Let's get into the people's response first. Well, yes, that was probably the most interesting part for me was just going out on the street and pulling people aside and asking them the simple question, do you know about the test that's gonna be done in Key West uh, releasing genetically engineered mosquitoes? And I, this is the first time people have stopped and come up to talk with me because they're like, what? Um, and what I found time after time, this was back in January 2012, was that people didn't know. Um, and they would ask me questions and I would say, well, I don't know the answers I'm asking you. <laughs> uh, and so I, I knocked on some doors. I ran across um, Rick Worth, who was the artist. Mm -hmm. And he, you know, he had a lot of questions as well. And we just started talking about, you know, what are the social impacts of, of this test and, um, you know, who has the right to know. And that's kind of where this started. It, it kind of erupted into a social movement. Um, and then I came back down six months later in July and followed up and did more Man on the Street interviews. And I, I went on the pier and I found, I went to business after business after business. And we that time had one person say, yeah, I've heard of that. And I said, okay, well, tell me about it. What do you think? And, you know, six months later, people were like, well, I don't really know how I feel. I need more information. Um, and I just gathered all these interviews, and I put them together so that it was Key West, the citizens of Key West, their voice. Mm -hmm. um, and then the experts, too, Tamara. You were able to talk with a number of experts on this subject. Tell us some facts that you were able to gather. Well, the first thing I did was I reached out to OxyTech. And I tried to get interviews with their scientists. And Luke Alfie, who is their uh, chief scientist and the founder of OxyTech, um, brilliant man, he explained to me the technology. And what he told me was that they're just releasing genetically engineered uh, males. And that's kind of the key to this release, which uh, is millions of mosquitoes. And then there is a small ratio of 3% of females that do get released. And I think that's really where the debate gets started, is that um, only females bite, and so the intent is not to release female mosquitoes. However, there is this little gap that could be released, and that's where the people need to decide. And what would you say was your overall mission with this film, Tamara? 
Well, it's really about the social debate. This is a very important issue in Key West, but it's a very important issue across America. And you know, I came down from New York, and we're dealing with genetic modifications of salmon and you know GMO foods, and we're familiar with the debate on food, but we're not as familiar of the debate with socially engineered animals. And this is really just an interesting kind of uh, you know, ground zero of the test of genetically engineered mosquitoes uh, and the test of genetically engineered animals. Mm -hmm. So I really you know, commend Key West for starting it and starting people talking about these grander things that are you know, uh, going to come into our society and can come into our communities. Mm -hmm. And so it's just going to start here and go you know, up the coast and across America. Well, great. Well, I think it's wonderful you've done this because it's given exposure again to the issue. And now, Tamara, if people in the community were not able to see the first screening of the movie, you're hoping that it will be brought down again to Key West. Yes, we're definitely talking with the cinema, with Tropic Cinema, to you know have us back. This is this is a film you know for the community by the community. This was involved everyone here. So I'm excited to be here for the first screening and we're going to have a panel afterwards and then we want to come back as many times as, as the people of Key West want us here. Wonderful. And if anybody have, has any questions about the genetically modified mosquitoes, they can contact Tamara. I know you would be happy to answer any questions. Absolutely. And join the conversation on our Facebook page. Great. Thank you so much for being on this morning. Thank you. I'm going to take a quick break right now. More to come. Stay with me.